While listening to Michael Jordan, The Life, by Roland Lazenby, I didn't learn much that I did not already know about Michael Jordan, but today I'd like to share a story from the book and something I did learn about MJ. For my usual viewers, hello. My English teacher is holding me custody to make this video, and if you are new around here, I'm Shane 2K, and if you are Miss F, hey, hope you enjoy my English project. Before we hop right into it, huge props to my friend Mocha, aka Jake Dunham, for the background track on this video, his soundcloud will be linked in the description. Now back to me passing English. Michael Jordan was one of the most competitive athletes in not only NBA history, but sports history. One story of Michael Jordan that is wildly underrated is the time he played against Muggsy Bogues. For those who don't know Muggsy, he's the shortest NBA player in the history of the league. Muggsy was 5 foot 3 inches tall, but MJ did not discriminate. It didn't matter if you were 7 feet tall, 5 3, or his teammate, MJ would trash talk you, and anyone who would listen. Muggsy played most of his career for the Charlotte Hornets, facing MJ semi-regularly during the season. On one particular matchup, MJ may have dished out the biggest tongue lashing of his career. In the 95 playoffs, the Hornets were a young and up-and-coming talented team against the Chicago Bulls. It was a crucial moment in the game for the first round. Bulls up two games to one. Bogues had the ball. Michael Jordan decided to guard Muggsy during the possession. And he put his arms down and said, Shoot it, you effing midget. Muggsy shot the ball and missed. Horrible. The Bulls won the game by a single point, moving around to play Shaq and the Magic. This shot affected Muggsy for years, so much that he doesn't even like to talk about it in interviews. But when he does, he says how the entire series went the exact same way, the entire time. MJ just trash talked Muggsy Bogues and Muggsy alone for four games straight. MJ was a psychological mastermind with opponents, and the demoralization of Muggsy Bogues was a great example of such. The next story that was spoken about was how Michael Jordan's trash talk may have boosted a career of his own teammate, Rip Hamilton. Rip Hamilton was a promising young star at the time, and MJ was in his final season that was coming. 